It is leg day and this leg day is gonna help you tone and define your legs because we are working hypertrophy training. We are gonna work all of the leg muscles today. We are gonna get right in to our workout. If you wanna start your watch, you can do that now and we are going to get into our first exercise which is a squat. And if you would like an added challenge, go ahead and add your booty band or your mini resistance band right above your knees. Grab a heavy dumbbell and let's do this. All right, here we go in three, two, and one. Squat it out. Good, weight is in the heels, chest is up, down. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Already halfway. I really want you to focus on using heavy enough weights today. Going slow pace. If you're going heavy enough, it's gonna slow your pace down a little bit and that is okay. Hypertrophy training is not about getting as many reps in as you can. It's actually a lower number of reps. Down, press it up, good. Hypertrophy training is using a lower number of weights with a heavier set of dumbbells. So we're working anywhere between about six to 12 reps, even though we're working by time. That's approximately how many reps we'll get in for our timer. And we are gonna work through each exercise three times as well to really challenge that muscle. If you have your band on, by the way, make sure your knees are staying in line with your toes. They're not caving in as we lower down. Grab your dumbbells again. We've gotta go. Set number two is here. Bring it up and let's begin. Slowing controlled squeeze. Press those knees out on that band. Don't let that band put, press your knees in. Again, weight is in the heels. Down and squeeze. Oh my word, I'm telling you what, the legs are. So hypertrophy training actually helps to increase the muscle size. So that is why you will see the definition in your legs once you start lifting heavy enough. And squeeze, good, one more down rest is next rest is next press Whew. amazing set your dumbbells down i really want you to take advantage of the, our rest periods as well and if you need longer than the 30 seconds take that just pause the video but try not to take any any more than a minute to a minute and 30 for your recovery if needed Whew. so keeping that in mind we go in five seconds the legs are saying hey already we go in three get your dumbbells two and one, here we go, down. Come on, keep good form, chest is up. Push, squeeze the glutes at the top, squeeze. Push the hips forward. Slow and controlled. Whew. Already halfway. You gotta keep your focus on the exercise that we are doing. That is going to help you maximize each rep. Especially with heavy weight. Last one, down and up. Awesome, done with squats. Keep your band on if you wanna use that. We are going into a Romanian deadlift next. Now I like to use one dumbbell for Romanian deadlifts. You can always use two. Keep that dumbbell close to your legs though. Feet just about shoulder width, a little bit wider than shoulder width. Grabbing your dumbbell, because we go in just a few seconds. This band is just gonna add a little bit more to this exercise, you will feel it. But we've gotta begin, shoulders rolled down and back. Here we go. Back flat, core engaged. Now as we pull, I want you to squeeze. Pull and squeeze the glutes. Good, back flat, core engaged. Exhale as you lift, right here. Now this is a nice slow exercise. So working at the lower end of our rep range. Let's do one more, let's do one more. Last one, good, and squeeze. Amazing, enjoy your break. Leg day is gonna be no joke today, but you showed up 
you're pushing, you're digging because you are here because you want to get stronger. And that is exactly what we are doing. <sighs> Sometimes the hardest part is pressing play. Let's be honest. <laughs> but you did it, you did it. And now we're gonna make the most of it. <sighs> We've got 40 seconds. Here we go. Hinging it down nice and slow. If you've got that band down, you've got pressure on that band. Good, and squeeze. <sighs> nice, slow, lower, feel that stretch in the hamstrings. When you feel that stretch, pause and pull. Good. Now, I don't want that pull to be jo uh, jokey, jerky. <laughs> so you don't want a, the, the pull to be jerky. You're in control. You're just picking up that pace at which you're pulling the dumbbell up. So always in control. Down, last one. Come on, squeeze. Oof. Awesome. One more set like that. Set your dumbbell down if you need to because you've got a little over 20 seconds and we go. At this point, I feel like it's gonna be more energy to try to move and set my dumbbell down. <laughs> so I'm just gonna hold it. But again, if you need to take a longer recovery, go ahead and do so. If you need to adjust your weight up, go ahead and do that as well. Again, challenge yourself. Going heavier is not going to bulk you up and make you bigger. It's going to define that muscle and give it shape. That is what we're working for today. But let's begin. Our time has started. Down, back flat, back flat, squeeze. Pull, push the hips and squeeze. And squeeze. We are two exercises in and it has already started raining. Okay then, was not expecting that until a little bit later in the workout, but always prepared for a good rain. Down. This is gonna be the last one. And squeeze. All right, now we can set the dumbbell down. We can remove the band as well. Dry off, grab a drink if you need to. Next exercise is, a sumo deadlift. So with the sumo deadlift, hips and knees are both going to be moving. Where with the Romanian deadlift, it's just those hips that push back. So now we're gonna push the hips back, we're gonna bend the knees, and we're gonna push through the heels in a sumo stance. So starting from the bottom here, here we go. And squeeze. So pushing the hips back. Back stays flat, don't let your back round. Good. And squeeze. You can use two dumbbells for this exercise as well. Again, I just prefer one. Less for me to focus on if I've got one dumbbell as opposed to two. Oh, this is getting tough. Down and squeeze, good. Let it, the dumbbell come down for a rest. Shake it out. Now with this exercise, you think about pressing the floor away as you pull that weight up. We gotta go in five seconds. I Grab a drink if you need to. If you need to adjust your weight, go for that as well. Starting at that bottom position with the hinge in the hips, the bent knee, and here we go. Power up, good. And squeeze. Shoulders roll down and back. Again, I don't want you to think about your shoulders pulling the dumbbell up. Keep your shoulders down in this move. Upper body is relaxed. Back is working. But we're really thinking about the legs right now. Down and squeeze. Good, almost there. Last one and up, amazing. Set your dumbbell down. We go in 25 seconds. Shake it out. Whew. Stretch it out. Nice job. Timer is ticking. 10 seconds. Last time for our sumo deadlift. Going in five seconds. Get into position. Those toes turned out, legs wide. Hinged at the hips, the knees, and let's begin. Push through the heels. Awesome. 
Awesome. And squeeze. Oh my word, you are amazing. I love to say it. Friends don't let friends skip leg day. We are here for each other right now because it is getting tough. Last one. Amazing. All right. Now, for our next exercise, this is where if you have your chair or your box, you're gonna to wanna to grab that. If you do not have that, totally fine. You are going to do a standing calf raise. So I'm gonna use just one dumbbell again. You know how I like to use my one dumbbell for our calf raise. Seated on the box, right on the edge, toes out. That dumbbell is gonna come right above your knees, not on your knees. Again, you can use two dumbbells as well, or no dumbbells but challenge yourself. We're gonna lift up, hold it, hold it at the toes, control down. Lift, good, and down. So knees right about 90 degrees, so you can really lift up on the toes, contract your calf muscle, and then back down. Lift. When we did this seated calf raise, it might've been a couple of weeks ago, my calf muscles, oh my word. We're sore for quite a few days, actually. Oh, that's good, that means they were getting a good work. Let's do one more. Squeeze, hold it for a second, and then control it down. Nice job. Breathe it out. New favorite exercise because we are just sitting here enjoying it. The burn is coming in 15 seconds though, so don't get too comfy. But if you need to grab a drink, if you need to dry off, make sure to do that. And again, if you're standing, I want you to hold that at the top for just a second and then control back down. But we've gotta go in three, two, lift, hold, and lower. Lift right back up, squeeze up on the toes and down. Hypertrophy training, not about how many reps you can eke out in the 40 seconds. No, 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 it's form, it's focus, it's heavy, and it's nice and controlled reps, working anywhere between six to 12 reps per set. Good, lift. And down almost, we've got time, one more. Lift, squeeze, and down. Good, one more set. <sighs> But we're gonna keep the box out for our next exercise after our seated calf raise. We go in 20 seconds. You are rocking it. You are doing amazing. Breathing, less than 10 now. Shake it out if you need to. Get ready, here we go in three, two, and one. Lift it up, lift, hold, squeeze, and down. Lift, feel that contraction. Good, you are halfway. Squeeze it up. Last time here, make it count. Last couple of reps. And squeeze. One more, one more, last one. Come on, squeeze. Oh, awesome, amazing. All right, set your dumbbell down and off to the side. Now we are going into a glute bridge, but our feet are gonna be elevated. So it's gonna be an ele elevated glute bridge if you don't have your box or your chair, totally fine. Just keep your feet on the floor. Now again, I'm gonna use, I like two dumbbells when, when my feet are on the ground for glute bridge, but with this one, I like it with one dumbbell. I'm gonna just lower my box just a smidge. So bring it onto the mat. You can also attach your band, attach your band. You can also put your band above your knees for a little added bonus. But we gotta get moving because our time is up. So bring it on back. Weight is in the heels, get that dumbbell up. And here we go. So keep the weight in the heels, lift, squeeze, 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 and down. Again, not about the number of reps, but I want good form, full range of motion. I want you squeezing. Down, good. Press it up, don't hold it too long at the bottom. The hold comes here at the top. Working nice and slow through the lower and the lift. And squeeze, 
<gasps> push, push, push. All the way up, hold it. Down, let's do one more. Down, and then you're gonna get your break. Come on, squeeze and lift. And down, control it down, control it down. Hold it down. We're gonna go again. Breathing. Hey, if you need to adjust your weight, now is the perfect time. Grab a, a lighter or heavier dumbbell, depending on how your form was, depending on how you felt. By the last two, three, four reps, it should be a serious challenge if you're going heavy enough. But here we go. Weight is in the heels. We lift, timer has begun. Press, squeeze. Keeping pressure on that band as well. Don't let it push your knees in. You wanna keep your knees in line with your toes. Oh my word, the burn is something fierce right now. I am not kidding, but you know this because you're doing it right along with me. Okay, did you go heavy enough? Because right here, it is a struggle to get that dumbbell, get the hips up. Whew. So, we know we've gone heavy enough when the shake happens, when the pace slows down. Last one, squeeze and down. Rest it out. Oh my goodness, okay. Timer's gonna go by quick. We've got just under 20 seconds. Oh my. And that band, I'm telling you what, if you wanna amp things up just a smidge, get your bands and add those. It makes such a big difference. But we've gotta go again. Here we go, last time for this. Squeeze. And down. And squeeze. Control it down. Push it up. Amazing. You're over halfway. And remember, don't hold it too long at the bottom. I want that hold coming from the top. Time for one more. Down. Come on, all the way up. Squeeze. Best one. Push, push, push. Control it down. Awesome. Set your dumbbell off to the side. We have three exercises left. Now, to modify, because we're gonna be doing a rear lunge, I know that sometimes people's knees don't enjoy lunges, which is totally awesome, because I have an exercise for you to modify. That is going to be a single leg glute break. So if you're doing the modification, you will see that on screen. However, if you were bringing it up, we are doing a rear lunge on the right. So grabbing two dumbbells for this, getting into position, stepping back with that right leg. Here we go. Staying on the same side, right leg. Push through the heel for our stationary leg on the left side. Lead back with right. Good. Core is engaged, chest is up. And down. Good. So again, if you're doing that modification, same with the glute bridge we did, the elevated glute bridge. Don't keep your hips on the mat. And up. One more. Down. And press. Two more. Two more like that same thing. Shake it out. We go in 15. Grab a drink, dry off. Now is the perfect time. You've got 10 seconds. Did you go heavy enough? By the last couple of sets, were you feeling it? If you felt like you just could have kept going for another 20 seconds, consider getting a little bit heavier. The reason I say that is because I really want you to, to get the benefits of hypertrophy training back, and that is going to be to challenge yourself to go heavy enough. Good, down. Slow and controlled. Just about 10 seconds now. And push. And up, awesome. You have one more set. Set your dumbbells down if you need to. Shake it out. High five for press and play. I know we talked about it can be hard to press play, but you're doing it. We've got 10 seconds before we go again. Last 
Last time for this side. So let's make it count. Adjust your weights if you need to. Going in four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Hair in my mouth. I was like, I cannot do that for 40 seconds. Don't get back so. And push, good. I don't know what gets crazier during these workouts, my hair or the shake that comes from the workouts. I'd say they're, they're about even. I don't know about you. If your hair's crazy or, you, or the shake. Ah, oh my goodness. Last one, down. All right, set your weights down. So you know if we did one side, that means we've gotta do the other side to make sure it's even. So if you were taking that modification on the ground with the single leg glute bridge, just gonna switch sides. Same thing, if you're doing the lunge with me, we are just switching sides. So now the right leg is going to be stationary and that left leg is gonna be the leg back and up. But we've gotta go in three seconds, in two seconds, and one. Here we go. Now same thing, I wanna make sure that you're keeping the legs even. So if you can keep the same weight that you used all three sets for the right side as for the left side right now, try to do that. That's gonna keep those muscles in balance. However, you may notice one side is a little bit easier than the other. One side may be stronger, which is totally normal. Just gives us a place to take note on and work on. Always good to be working for something, because if you're not working towards anything, then it's really hard to reach a goal if you don't have anything in mind. Last one, good. So that's why with each of our workouts, I try to have a goal or a focus in mind that we can work on. Because if I just throw a workout out, what are we gonna be working towards? Today, we are working towards defining and building and strengthening those muscles, which is why I keep pushing you along. We've got three seconds. So just in life, make sure you got, you got your plan. Oh, here we go. And up. Chest is up, good. Back. Weight stays in the heel for the leg that is stationary. Oh my goodness. You know I do not shy away from these workouts. Your workout is my workout. Sometimes I get asked, what workouts do you do? I do the exact same workouts that you do. Whatever you're doing for the week, I usually do the week before you. And last one. So we're doing the same things. I don't usually do anything extra because this usually pushes me to the limit. So, so glad we get to do it together. We know what each other's going through, right? It's always good to have someone that knows what you're going through. Breathing, we've got 10 seconds, but we also have our very last set and then one exercise remaining. I saved my favorite exercise for last. The sumo squat. I don't know why, I just love that leg exercise. What is your favorite leg exercise? If you remember at the end of this workout, if your legs aren't too shaky to where you're like, all I can think about is the burn and the shake, let me know in the comments. Cause now I'm curious, we need to have like a favorite, favorite leg day exercise of our favorite leg exercises. Almost there. Breathing, last one, take it back and up. Oh, good, all right. We are going into our last and final exercise, the sumo squat. You can use one dumbbell in the middle. I am actually going to use two dumbbells today because I wanna make sure that I'm going heavy enough and I don't have one dumbbell heavy enough to equal the two dumbbells I have here. So I'm gonna put the two dumbbells here, but if you have one in the middle, you can do that. We've got five seconds. It's the sumo squat. Here we go. Down and press. Weight is in the heels, squeeze 
the glutes at the top. Also think about bringing those inner thighs, squeezing the inner thighs together. This is an awesome compound lower body move for the quads, the glutes, the hamstrings, and both the inner and outer thighs. Chest is up, slow and controlled. We're moving slow because that dumbbell is heavy and we are in control right now. Couple more reps, squeeze. Down and press, good. All right, you can set the weights down if you want to. I just feel, at this point, it's more energy for me to try to move. So I'm just gonna rest it out right here. Breathing, we've got 15 seconds and we go. If you need to up it in weight, listen, we are so close to the end. I want you to maximize these last two sets. This is leg day, we go heavy, we go all in. And now we go in three seconds, two and one. Here we go, down and squeeze. Push through the hips, push through the glutes actually, the hips. Pushing the hips forward just a smidge and squeeze, down, over halfway. Leg day sure did bring the rainstorm on. Oh my goodness. And squeeze, one more, one more. Down and up, awesome. Now, we have made it. Last and final set. And leg day will be complete. In just under 30 minutes, we kicked butt, we worked hard, and now we've gotta bring it on home. We go in 10 seconds. So breathe it out. Shoulders roll down and back. Amazing form. Give it everything in three, two, and one. Lower down. And squeeze up, squeeze, squeeze, come on. Down. Awesome. You made it halfway and push. Also, when you're working with heavier dumbbells, you may, may notice your hands even feel just a little bit tender afterwards. And that is because we also have grip strength. And when we work with heavier dumbbells, last one, that can challenge our grip strength. So you may notice, because I notice that sometimes when I go super heavy that my hands feel a little bit worn out. Just a side note. So if you're going heavier, grip strength is something that we're working on as well, secondary. But with that said, you have made it through our leg day. You are amazing. And I'm telling you what, a stretch is gonna feel like a million bucks. I don't really know what a million bucks would feel. <laughs> Probably amazing like the stretch is gonna feel. We'll, we'll find out. So go enjoy your stretch. Thank you for joining me for leg day. I love you so much and I will see you for our stretch.